finally, uh, cooperation. So what does this mean to the medical doctor uh, practicing in the field? We could talk about the history of chiropractic. Chiropractic did, did, did have very humble beginnings. It had a very uh, less than impressive beginning, both in educational uh, aspects, both in research aspects, both in claims that were being made 100 years ago. This has changed. The, the profession has evolved tremendously over the last 100 years. We now see medical doctors and chiropractors teaching side by side in colleges. We see them working side by side in research projects. Um, we see them in clinics together. We see referrals occurring between the professions. So what, would, what can you expect if you're referring a, a patient to a chiropractor? A physical exam and diagnosis, radiology if necessary, mandatory informed consent. It's important for you to know that all chiropractic patients that present to an office or to a chiropractor read an informed consent. They are all informed of the risk of stroke and they have to sign and discuss this with the chiropractor before undergoing any type of treatment. Referral back if no progress, contraindications to care or pathologies, or if additional tests are required. I'm going to leave you with a final quote from Dr. Jonas, who's a past director in the National Institutes of Health. I've also included a handout for you. It's a letter that he wrote uh, describing his learning about chiropractic and really turning from skepticism to um, to acceptance or cooperation. The chiropractic profession is assuming its valuable and appropriate role in the healthcare system in this country and around the world. As this happens, the professional battles of the past will fade and the patient will be the true winner. Thank you very much.